Welcome back to Aero 1020 Theory of Flight, the last presentation, number 24, on canard design. Canard is a French word that means duck or hoax. It's not clear why canard was used to describe this feature of an aircraft, but a canard is sometimes considered to be a forward-mounted horizontal stabilizer or a forward-mounted wing. However, some designs do also include an aft-mounted stabilizer. Canards increase airplane performance by increasing the lift-over-drag ratio. It's interesting to note that the right flyer was actually a canard design. A canard-style aircraft may or may not include a horizontal stabilizer on the aft section of the aircraft. The aircraft on the top right is an Avanti Piaggio which includes a forward-mounted canard as well as a horizontal and vertical stabilizer on the aft section of the fuselage. The aircraft pictured on the bottom right does not have a stabilizer on the aft section of the fuselage. It only includes the canard mounted on the forward section. This is an experimental aircraft known as a long easy. In a traditional or conventional aircraft, the center of gravity is located forward of the main wing, which allows for positive longitudinal stability. On a conventional aircraft, the lift produced by the main wing has to overcome the weight of the aircraft as well as the tail down force provided by the horizontal stabilizer mounted on the aft section of the fuselage. Canard designs don't have this problem. Both wings produce positive lift. So in a canard design, both the main wing and the canard produce positive lift. The center of gravity on a canard design is still forward of the main wing. In a canard design aircraft, the center of gravity has to be somewhere between the canard wing and the rear wing of the main wing. The center of gravity range is decreased in size compared to a conventional aircraft. You can't move the center of gravity as far forward or aft in a canard airplane. So in a canard design, you have two wings providing positive lift. And since they share the lift, induced drag is decreased as a result. That increases airplane performance. The result is a higher lift over drag ratio than for a conventional airplane. Since the canard is located forward of the main wing, it's not affected by wing downwash. So the canard can be effective even at a high angle of attack. And this figure is a conventional aircraft. And you can see that the downwash created by the main wing actually hits the horizontal stabilizer. This doesn't happen in a canard designed aircraft. Even though the canard design comes with some very positive performance characteristics, the canard design does come with some disadvantages. The forward wing, or the canard, increases the nose-up pitching moment of the aircraft, and that decreases longitudinal stability. It's also important to design a canard aircraft so that the forward wing of the canard wing stalls before the main wing. This creates a nose-down pitching moment that will allow the pilot to recover from a stall. So to prevent the main wing from stalling before the canard, Designers have to limit the amount of lift the canard can provide and balance the lift between the two wings very carefully. This decreases the coefficient of lift provided by the canard and results in a higher takeoff and landing distance. Now, because the horizontal stabilizer or the canard is forward of the main wing of the aircraft, the fuselage doesn't need to be as long as it needs to be in a conventional aircraft. So we can reduce the length of the fuselage and as a result we can reduce parasite drag. To provide directional stability though the vertical stabilizer has to be mounted aft of the center of gravity. Some designs will include a swept wing that has vertical stabilizers mounted at the wingtips to achieve this. Here's a picture of the experimental aircraft, the Long EZ, and notice that the wings are swept back with vertical stabilizers mounted on the wingtips. 
these vertical stabilizers increase directional stability. And remember, directional stability is around the vertical axis and is also known as yaw stability. On a conventional design aircraft, the engine and the propeller are usually mounted at the front of the aircraft. And this creates a problem because the engine cowling or the cover over the engine and the fuselage after the propeller reduce the efficiency of the propeller. It reduces the amount of thrust it can develop. So a propeller on the aft section of the aircraft or a pusher propeller would be more proficient for that reason. Because canard design aircraft have a larger wing on the aft section of the fuselage, the weight of the engine on that section wouldn't be as destabilizing as it would be on a conventionally designed aircraft. So many canard airplanes have engines mounted on the aft section of the fuselage and they use a pusher propeller. And as we said before, pusher propellers are more efficient. On a conventional aircraft with a propeller mounted on the front, the thrust is limited by the fuselage of the aircraft. This doesn't happen with a pusher propeller. Well, that's the end of presentation 24 on canard design and the last presentation in Aero 1020 Theory of Flight.